Hi, Lifetime Performers. Erin Stody, uh, Upper RX. We have a couple ideas for you for your core plus the fourth uh, movement that we have in our current RX. I just have three quick ideas for you. I've been a big fan of the oblique lean lately. Um, so you just have two dumbbells and you just got your feet hip width apart. You simply lean down, down, and then there's several things you can add in that would work. One is a hammer curl, easy peasy. Another option is a lateral raise. So in between each of those, it's a lean, lean, and then do one of those things. Another option, lean, lean, a hammer frontal raise, and back down. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way I really like to do the dumbbell lean, is to actually start in a kneeling position. You go down, pick it up, pick up the other one, drop it down, drop it down, and then a few things can happen after that, like a push-up, either standard or you could do a narrow push-up as well, from the knees or from the toes, either way works. Um, just to show you from the side, that is whoop, pick up, drop off, and bring it on down. You can also do a power push-up. So there are several options with that. One more move to show you today. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. Got my 12s this time, laying flat on my back. Um, we are simply going to churn into a neutral position, go into a reverse crunch with the feet, straight up, and then several things can happen. One, either a skull crusher, or two, a pullover, and then you go right back into that reverse crunch. Hips go nice and high. Hope that's helpful.